Okay, guys, so what I'm going to talk about today come on my mind. I'm more specifically why pro wrestling and I'm my mind are exactly the same except for the outcome. Now, over the last five to ten years, there's been a growing resentment between the MMA community and the pro wrestling community. MMA fans think pro wrestling is fake and should be nowhere near pro wrestling and pro wrestling fans just hate real violence. Some of them hate the real violence aspect of it. They like a more theatrical. They like a behind the scenes stuff. But what both of these groups don't realize is that MMA and pro wrestling are extremely similar. My first point is how does MMA shout a fight? They typically do a video package and angle video packages if the two fighters don't have a heated rivalry. Typically, the promoter tries to create one, at least for that moment, to make you want to watch your fight. That's the same thing as in pro wrestling, except pro wrestling, pro wrestlers cut promos week to week and try to build Try to sell that particular match. The second point I want to make is how do fans in MMA get their tail shot nowadays? In 2005, 2006, yeah, they earned it. Somewhat. But nowadays, people get fired, get KO shot based on how their crowd reaction is. Based on if that fire is extremely hated and people want to see him get knocked out. Uh, based upon if he gets extremely loved and people want want to see him get the belt in the particular division. Hank and Point Carol Sonnen. He only got the tail shot versus John Jones because John Jones didn't want to fight him and it gave notice and people were like, Kale is a real fighter. He doesn't want to, he doesn't run away from a fight. As opposed to John Jones, who did a smart thing by not taking a fight and it gave notice. That's the way he got the tail shot. Now, the second person, Ronda Rousey, she only got the tail shot because she was talking a lot and got the media and the fans behind her and got built, that started building scheme for her to get the tail shot when she was Basically, two or three fights away from earning it. That's the same thing I can pro wrestling where people get behind a particular wrestler and want to see him get a KO shot. Now, 
is Daniel Bryan and he's supposed to get a world title shot because people are behind him 100%. If people were behind him, he'll be stuck in the mid card. Like, there's an incredible similarity here. The last thing I want to say is, how do you think MMA built up that pound for poundness? They took it from pro wrestling. Like, that's a good pro wrestling and boxing to a certain extent. The pound for pound is basically dream matches that people want to see. In boxing, it was Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather until last year. In pro wrestling a few years ago, it was The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. That's the same thing as people wanted, wanting to see Anderson Silva versus GSP until July 6th when Chris Wyman beat him. Now, that's my case. See you guys later. Peace.